Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ANTH. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to this time frame thing does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. And this situation makes mapping up a pretty interesting setup. And I don't mean to state the obvious or rub salt in one's, anyone's wounds, but just to kind of illustrate the setup here. Yeah, there is the gap down. And then even after the gap down, things continue to fall and fall and fall and things, you know, remain bearish. However, in the afternoon, that's where things got interesting because the price at least started to go sideways. And maybe you're saying, well, geez, that's setting the bar kind of low. You're saying just going sideways is actually bullish. Well, yeah, I am saying that because you got to keep things in context. Think about what had been going on prior to the sideways action, a whole lot of bearishness. So even though that is setting the bar kind of low, it does illustrate that, you know, maybe that some sort of bottom has potentially formed. And that potential bottom is being represented here by this 12 cent mark, which on a couple different occasions, price got right around it and then was able to hold strong. Now, don't get me wrong, and I really wish trading was this easy, just because the price got beat up really bad and then all of a sudden started to go sideways. And, you know, does not mean that this is for sure the bottom and that this thing's bouncing up to 22 cents tomorrow. I'm not saying that. Now, would it be shocking to see a bounce? No, it would not be shocking at all. But myself nor anyone else can sit here and say that a bounce is going to for sure happen because for sure's mean guarantees and guarantees, uh, you know, that just doesn't exist in the market. But it's at least logical right now to question whether or not this is the bottom. Case in point, you know, when the price was just pulling back and pulling back and pulling back. At no point did it say, huh, I wonder if the, this is the bottom. Why would you question the bottom when all it was doing is, is falling, right? But at least now with it going sideways, it makes logical sense to at least question if this is any sort of bottom. Now, if it is and the price starts to bounce, let's talk about a couple areas of resistance. Initial area of resistance on any sort of attempted bounce is gonna be basically the top portion of this little miniature channel that formed all afternoon long. And that's right there at 14 cents. If 14 cents can be broken with a good solid high volume break, then you know I'm not saying it's going to be just a, a, a leisurely stroll, but 18 cents could definitely come into play. But one step at a time. Not only does it got to continue to at least go sideways, but you're going to need a good strong high volume break of 14 cents. So yeah, definitely an interesting setup going into tomorrow and the remainder of the week. So let's see how this one plays out. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.